This circuit shows the op-amp configured to create an inverting amplifier. The inverting amplifier will take the original signal and increase this by a specific amount. The amount of gain we can increase on the original signal is controlled by the resistors. Let's examine the circuit and look at the formula used to calculate the output voltage and gain. Firstly, notice the position of the inverting and non-inverting inputs. The inverting input is at the top and non-inverting below. We can switch the inputs around in the simulator by using the flip button. Resistor 1 is connected between the input signal and the inverting input. Resistor 2 is connected between the output and the inverting input. The input signal is a 10 volt peak to peak sine wave. Resistor 2 is used to create the negative feedback loop. The non-inverting input is connected directly to ground. Let's look at the formula used to calculate the output voltage and gain of the amplifier. With this amplifier we want to produce a higher voltage output than the original input voltage. We can calculate the output precisely using the following formula. Voltage out equals negative R2 divided by R1 multiplied by the voltage in. So firstly we need to calculate negative R2 divided by R1. So the values are negative 400 divided by 200, which equals negative 2. Negative 2 multiplied by 10 volts peak to peak equals negative 20 volts peak to peak. When a signal is amplified, we refer to this as the gain of the amplifier. Gain is represented by the letter AV. Gain is calculated on an inverting amplifier by dividing negative R2 by R1. Negative 400 divided by 200 gives us a gain of negative 2. The output signal is two times greater than the original. The gain is a negative number as this is an inverting amplifier. This will be clearer when we run the simulation. Let's look at the circuit in the simulator and measure the input and output voltages. Before we play the simulation, we will highlight the input voltage so we can examine the original input signal. As we can see, there is a 10 volt peak to peak sine wave input. Let's now highlight the output and look at how the signal has changed. As we predicted with our formula, we have amplified the output voltage to 20 volts peak to peak. But notice that when the input signal is at its peak positive voltage, the output signal is, is at its peak negative voltage. The output signal is inverted. Thanks to a new feature in every circuit, we can look at the signals on separate channels, as you would with a proper oscilloscope. Simply drag one of the input signals down to do this.